everybody. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, look at that. I'm going to turn it down. Is this... A... I'm going to turn down the volume. You can hear the good music. Ortega, thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't know. Did the volume go down? Can you hear my voice? I can't tell if you're hearing my voice. Aww. I'm glad you think my videos are helpful. That's cool. That's that's really, really cool. Um, hello, BBC Dende. I'm going to go with Dende. And you can hear. Good. Is the music too loud? I can't tell. Right. I'm glad you can hear, though. That's a uh, that's good news. Let's see. I'm gonna do something here. Uh, what am I gonna do? Oh, I know. Okay. All right. Here, here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press a but a button. I want you to tell me if you could still hear the music, because it's a little loud on my side. All right. Okay. I pushed a button. Can you still hear the music? Miss Schneekloth, you're a fifth grade math teacher and a big fan. Watch your videos to prep. Oh, I'm so glad. I am so glad I'm able to support you. That is so stinking cool. That is so stinking cool. All right. Miss, uh, Miss uh, Schneekloth. So here's what I want. I, you're one of my my best customers right here because you're 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 on my live stream. So if there's a video you want me to make, let me know in the chat box right now. Like I would, I can make videos till the cows come home. So I wanna I wanna give that a try. Ah, Selma, thank you. You're awesome. You are absolutely awesome. And Sabrina, that I I appreciate that. That's really cool. That is really, really stinking cool. Holy moly, we got 19 people. Here it is, 3.15 on a Wednesday, and we got 19 people on the youtube live streaming thing. That's kind of cool. All right. <laughs> Let's be honest. He helped us in school. <laughs> uh, BBC Dende. I'm, I'm gonna pronounce it Dende. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation, but uh, it's, uh, I'm gonna go with that. And and you know what? I'm glad I helped you in school. That made my day. Uh, oh, long division with decimals. Okay, I, yeah, I could do that. And uh, where, somewhere, you're a fifth grade teacher. So you're probably dividing um, like a decimal by a whole number is my guess. Is that true, Miss Schneekloth? Schneekloth. I'm gonna go with Schneekloth. Uh, that's what you're. Oh, that's what you're learning in school, Selma. That's awesome. All right. Um, yeah. You know what? I at some point. Look at this. Check that out. Whoa! Bam! So if we're interested, I actually can. I could do a a quick little. I don't know. Division. 3.14, oh, I don't like where that is. I could do like 3.14 divided by five kind of a thing, if that makes sense. I could definitely show you how to do that. That's not hard at all. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right. Oh, look at that. It's true. Look at that. <laughs> that looks cool, Evelyn. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's kind of it is what it is. So, uh, Miss Schneekloth, if you want me to do a like a division, like like a decimal divided by a whole number, I could do that. Uh, it would take me two seconds, and I'm sure our eight, the seventeen other people on, would not mind watching because you know they can learn. In fact, Selma, she's learning it right now, so might as well, you know. That's kind of cool. <laughs> He's underrated. 
BBC Den Day. Uh, you know what? We got to tell my wife that. You know what, honey? It's official. YouTube says I'm underrated. You know, I'm not sure if I should have to mow the lawn like you're telling me because I'm underrated here. And uh, I don't know. Do I have to mow the lawn? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know what, Miss Schneecloth, let me do that. I'll, I'll do, um, I use dots to do division. It's uh, the dot method. It's in Eureka Math, if you're a, you're, you're, since it sounds like you're a Eureka Math user, um, I could show you how to do it. And I, it's how I explain it to fourth, fifth, and sixth graders doing long division, whether it's dividing whole numbers or dividing decimals by whole numbers as well. So I could do that. No, I would not mind. I could sit outside and watch this. That's awesome, Evelyn. <laughs> it's Evelyn. Evelyn's in the house. Do I teach history? No, but I'm. some people say I'm as old as, as history. So um, no, I've, I've been around a lot. I've seen a lot of history, but I, I don't teach it, no. All right, so uh, Miss Schneekloff, let's do it. Let's let's do it right now. Let's do it to it. Um, let's do right here. Let's do something like 3.14 divided by five. All right, and I don't know if you're <laughs> you're even there anymore, but I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it because I'm practicing. Basically, all I'm doing right now is is making sure I know how to use this live streamy thing. Um, I'm doing this for work, and awesome. You would love to see the dot method. I'm gonna do it right now. Um, so let's say we're doing uh, 3.14. It's kind of covered by the uh, chat box, but that's a user user error on my part. Um, but let's do uh, 3.14 divided by five. I have no idea how this is gonna work. So let's, let's see. Um, you just had a test on it, Selma, that's awesome. Okay, so here's what I do, uh, Miss Schneekloff. Uh, so the first thing I do is I'm going to do a place value chart for the 3.14, all right? And so 3.14 is going to, oh man, I'm going to make it even better. Oh, look at that, Rebecca, subscribe to the, welcome Rebecca, welcome to the house. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit harder, Miss um, Schneekloth. I'm going to change that 3.14. I'm going to make that, um, let's make that a 6. 0.14. Ooh, making it even harder. All right, so we're going to do 6.14. All right, divided by 5. Okay, so I'm going to move that out of the way. And what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to do my place value. And because 6.14 is the ones place, it's the tenths place and it's the hundredths place I'm gonna label it like that that's that's how I'm gonna label it in fact I don't like the fact that I called it ones I'm just gonna label it ones like that all right now to model 6.14 divided by 5 I'm just gonna do 6 in the ones place all right so let me move my little iPad around all right so I'm gonna do 6 in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and that's the six right here. And then I have one in the tenths place. So there's, well, bam, there's my one in the tenths place. And then I have the four in the hundredths place. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. So there's 6.14. So you see, 6.14, all right? And now dividing by five, means I'm gonna put, I wanna create, well, there's a couple of different meanings, uh, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put these dots in groups of five. Hello, Erica, good to see you. What top? I don't know. We can't see the top. I don't know, what top? Well, you know, all I want you to see is the chart. So as long as you're seeing the chart, I'm golden. What I could do, is I can move this down here. There's the problem that we're doing right there. 6.14 divided by five. So that's all I want you to see. I'm seeing it on my screen. I'm seeing the chart 
6.14 divided by 5. Okay, I hope you're seeing it. You can't see the top of the place value chart. Um, Miss Schneecloth, uh, let's see. I don't know. Let's see if I can uh, go on a different browser. Let's see. And I'm going to go to YouTube. Let's see. Let's do some troubleshooting, Miss Schneecloth. Uh, let's go to YouTube. And I'm going to go search for Dwayne Hobecker. But I'm gonna, it would help if I spelled it correctly. And, and look at that. It says he's live right now. So I'm going to click on that. But I'm gonna, well, it would help if I spelled it correctly. I'm seeing on my screen what I'm supposed to be seeing. So I don't know. Maybe scroll on your your um. <laughs> you'll, you'll stop bothering everyone. <laughs> You're not bothering us. That's awesome. Um, maybe scroll around on your window because I'm seeing everything on my on my browser thingy thing over here. It's looking okay. Um. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. All right. Well, anyway, Miss Schneecloth. So. Um, can you see enough of the problem to see that I am, I got dots? <laughs> I made math so much easier, Erica. That is so stinking awesome. Oh, sh the green thing. Yeah, so if you're trying to look at the green thing, that's, I'm, I'm intentionally cutting that off. All I want you to see, er uh, Miss Schneecloth, is the chart. Okay, so, uh, so you guys, you know what? I, I, I am finding that everybody is so stinking cool. Um, it's really cool. Hey, look at that. It's Evelyn has been here and, and she's subscribing and everything. Oh, that is so rocking. And so does Emmett. Way to go, Emmett. That's cool. All right, so here's what, what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to move that, that, uh, um, subscribe alert thing <laughs> i didn't you lost hella subs yeah i don't know i i'm here for the math i'm not here for the subs <laughs> um okay so miss sneakloth we're getting there so when we're dividing by five that means we're going to take these dots and put them into groups of five all right and so i can see uh five groups right there so I can see five dots. So I'm going to circle those five dots. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, I was missing a dot from the get-go. Uh, there you go. See, I needed six dots. One dot and four dots. Now we have 6.14. All right. And so I need to circle a group of five dots. Why do I have to circle a group of five dots? Because I'm dividing by five. Dividing by five, one of the meanings of dividing by five is put them in groups of five. All right, so I'm a collection of five dots, make a circle. Can I make any more collections of five dots? No, I can't. And so since I can't make any more collections of five dots, that means I am, uh, let's see, I am exactly uh, where I need to be and I've only made I was only able to make one group of five dots so these five dots is one dot and one group of five now what am I gonna do with this extra dot here well I'm gonna cash that dot in because we learned in an earlier module that one big dot is equal to to 10 little dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that one big dot right here gets cashed in for 10 little dots over here. We could reverse it and do 10 little dots gives us one big dot, but that's not what I want right now. All right, so I want to take that big dot and I'm going to cash him in for 10 little dots, okay? So now I'm looking for, remember, I'm looking for groups of five. And look at this, one, two, three, four, five, right there. There's a group of five right there. And look at this, I could do another group of five right there. So one, two, three, four, five. So how many groups of five were I, was I able to make in the tenths place? 
I was able to make two groups in the tenths place. Now I have this one dot left over. So what am I gonna do with that little dot? He maybe can't see your note while he's teaching, but I'm sure he'll shout you out as soon as he's done. Uh, yeah, heck yeah, Muhammad, I could totally give you a, I could stop, I was getting all sucked into the math. Um, oh, hey, Dwayne, or Mr. Dwayne, yeah, just wondering. Um, I'm using Jamboard as a free tool, all right. Um, holy cow, congratulations, you've received a hundred messages. I don't know what that means, but okay, good. Um, that's cool. So I'm using Jamboard on my iPad. Nothing fancy. So, okay, Mr. Schneecloth. Uh, so I've got that one extra dot left over right here. So what am I gonna do with that dot? Well, I'm gonna cash him in. So one big gives me 10 littles. So I'm gonna cash him in and, and uh, let me do it in green just to be a different color for no particular reason. So I'm gonna cash that in for 10 littles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So that that one big got cashed in for ten littles. All right. So now again, what am, what am I going to do in the hundredths place? Well, we're dividing by five. So I need to create groups of five. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to circle groups of five. So let's circle groups of five. So here's a group of five. Here's a group of five. And that's all I could do is I can only make two groups of five. So that's, I'm gonna put that right here. Made two groups of five. And I have these four left over. Oh my goodness. So obviously I'm not going to, so by the way, there's our decimal point. So there's our decimal point. So our answer so far is 1.22. Now, if this was a fifth grade problem, we would not need to keep going, uh, but we need to keep going, don't we? Um, so what I'm gonna do, oh, let's see. I'm gonna make all of this a little bit smaller. There we go. Because I need to make another column. Here's my thousandths place. And what I need to do, this is gonna be crazy. I need to take each of these dots and cash them in. Each big is gonna give me 10 littles, all right? So this one dot right there is gonna get cashed in and it's gonna give me 10 littles. So that one big, boy, I wish I had chosen a better problem. Three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Right? So that one dot gave me these 10 littles. So now let's do it again. And I'll do it in green just to be different. So this dot right here is going to give me 10 littles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then let's do it in yellow. This dot is going to give me 10 littles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we've got one more big right here. And it's gonna give me 10 littles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So there we go. And now we can say, what does division mean? Div division means how many groups of five are we going to have? Well, that's pretty easy on this one because I carefully put them in groups of five. One group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups, seven groups, eight groups. Look at that. The answer is eight groups. And therefore our answer, with no remainder by the way, so our answer is 1.228, okay? So Ms. Schneecloth, here's the cool thing, is students never have to know their division, their, their multiplication facts. They don't have to do any of that fancy stuff. All they know need to know is um, how to model the problem with dots, and then they have to know the, divi the, the definition of division. Oh, division means circle groups of, you know, make circles of groups, 
groups of what? Since we are dividing by five, we're gonna do we're gonna circle groups of five. That's all they have to do. So now, uh, this is a technically because I wasn't careful about the problem and we had to add extra columns. It turned it into a sixth grade problem. A fifth grade problem would have we would have ended without having to add that extra thousandths column. So I, I wasn't very careful with my problem that I was choosing uh, right off the top. Um, but that's it. Uh, it's super, super easy, Mishni cloth. And, and so um, now, so that means students can be getting the answer with division while you're still helping them with the algorithm, you're still helping them with their times tables, like maybe they're struggling. Maybe the reason they can't do dividing decimals is because they're struggling with their times tables. Great. Teach them this dot method so that they could get the answers while you are simultaneously helping them with their times tables. You don't have to say, oh, I can't teach them division because they don't know their times tables. No more. Everybody can learn it. That is so stinking cool. Look at that. Hindi movies. Hi, Hindi movies. This is so cool. So uh, could you see square roots? So the dots are a concrete model of what they're doing with long division. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's it. And, and it just, it makes it, um, it, makes it uh, concrete so that students can see it while you are working their way towards the abstract. So um, the key is we can help kids get the answer immediately, even while we're still trying to help them get it abstractly and learn the algorithms. So um, <clears throat> every kid in my class learns it. Not every kid learns how to do it using the algorithm. And so um, that's the key. So we want to help the kids understand it and get it. Then we want to help them learn the algorithm. All right. And you just saw it right there. The wrap up. Yes, Travis, that is the wrap up. And absolutely, Miss Schneekloth. Am I saying your name right, Miss Schneekloth? I feel like it, but I don't know. I, I want to make sure I get your name right. Hey, see you later, BBC Dende. You love the vids. That's awesome. That is so awesome. What grade do I teach? Uh, Travis, I teach all the grades. Um, seriously, I used to be a, a teacher, but now I teach teachers how to teach. So uh, I, I go into classrooms every grade, kindergarten all the way through 12th grade calculus. Yeah, Selma, I could do a square root. You want to you wanna do a quick square root? We could do that. We could do that. Um, so you're not being annoying. <laughs> I'm being annoying. I'm the one who's doing the live stream and I don't know, it's just like telling you to do math. <laughs> Here you are trying to do YouTube and you're like, and this guy is talking about math. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I'll do square root. So uh, square root um, has a picture and then it also has a math. So I'm gonna show you the picture first, all right? You're not being annoying. That's right, I think I think it's awesome. I, I totally agree with you, Ms. Schneekloth. You are, you're an encouraging fifth grade teacher, that's cool. Um, so let's, let's do it. I'm gonna try something different here. Let's see if this one works. Um, okay, so, so what does square roots mean? Okay, oops, that's not working. Let's see. Is it working? No, it's not working. Okay. All right. So I'm going to have to do this one. All right. So uh, who was asking? Selma. Selma was asking, you know, what, what, what does square root, you know, how to do square roots. So square roots, crazy simple. What does square roots mean? So a square root means, uh, square root, square root means, what times itself gives you the answer, okay? That's kind of what a square root means. So what do I mean by that? So square root of 49, 
So that's what that's how you write the square root. That's I know it looks like a division symbol, but it because it's got this little extra thing, it's a square root. And what that means, so the square root of 49 means what number times itself equals 49. That's it. That's it. That's all that all that uh, square root. Oopsies, I don't want black. I want this. All right. So that's what square root means. It means uh, what times itself equals 49. Hang on. My phone's ringing. Uh, it's, it's my boss. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to her later. Okay. This will be quick. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, so yeah. So f f 7 times 7 is 49. So there you go. So that's what square root means. So square root of 49 means 7 times it is equal to 49. So square root of 49 is equal to 7 because it means what number times itself gives me 49. Now the picture of that, because I'm all about pictures, is um, really you've got 49 squares. You got 49 little unit squares in here and your job is to arrange it into a square, like an overall square, so that this side is the same as this side. There you go. That's, that's what it means. Take those 49 little square tiles and arrange them into a square. And because a square is always the same sides, so what number times what number gives you 49? That's what's going on. So like if you wanted to know what is the square root of uh, well, square root of uh, 16. Square root of 16. So square root of 16 is what number times itself gives you 16. Now you're not allowed to say eight. You're not allowed to say eight because eight times two is 16 or eight plus eight is 16, but that's not the answer. So what number times itself gives me 16? And that is four. Four times four gives me 16. So the square root of 16 is four. There you go. Yeah, famous Dan. I have 100,000 subs and 13 viewers. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I'm a math teacher. Uh, I teach teachers how to teach math. Ms. Schneekloth, you have a great day. And I will do this again. I will do this again. I, I love it. All right. Woohoo! Selma, I'm glad you get it now. That's really, really cool. That is really stinking cool. All right. I wonder why it's doing that. If I go here, oh, I know. And then when I go here, it's gonna to toggle. I get it, I get it. I'm playing with all my streaming stuff. Yay! <laughs> Here's a math idea. I, okay, I'm ready for a math idea, BBC Dende. What, what, what's your math idea? Dang, I'm hot. Y'all noticing? I'm like stinking hot. I do all math for all grades. I like that. I could do that. I don't know if I have time, but I could do that. Yeah. Ah, but the square root of 16 is not eight. Six, square root of 16 is four. Four times four is 16. Not eight plus eight. It's gotta be, it's gotta be multiplication. Yeah, yeah. You've seen people with a thousand subs and 30 viewers. Yeah, well, to be honest, this is, technically the first time I've ever streamed, you know, and I stream, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm streaming yet. I'm just trying to figure it out. It's kind of cool. Yeah. You need fifth grade for your college. That's true. You're in a mashed up live stream. How will we know when you're doing this? Marianne? Um, hey, look at that. Travis subscribed. Welcome to the club, Selma. Welcome to the club, Travis. Oh, that's awesome. That is so stinking awesome. Um, 
Uh, how will we know when I'm doing this? I don't know. Should I do this again? Hey, you forgot how to divide decimal. Oh, dang. Famous Dan, we just did a division of decimals problem. Just like, I don't know, 15 minutes ago. Dang. Ah. Uh. Yeah, probably on, oh, is that Friday at eight? Friday at eight? Doing math, Friday at eight? Oh, come on. Holy moly, I'm not sure if I wanna do math at Friday at eight. <laughs> yeah, uh, Famous Dan, I could do another one real quick if you want, but uh, that's cool. That is really, really stinking cool. All right. Woo! I've been doing this for 35 minutes. How much, how much, how, how long do people normally stream for? Like, I don't even know. What does this mean? Like, what's this? Oh, damn. I'm, dang. I am scorching. Hey, Famous Dan. Hey, thank you for the subscription. That's cool. You're going to have to stay up for three. Hey, hey, Famous Dan, what grade are you in? I don't, I don't know if... if Probably an hour. Oh my gosh, like two hours? That's how long people stream for? Holy cow, I'm sweating already. It's only been 40 minutes. Man, BBC Dende, two hours. Goodness gracious. Hey, wow, I didn't know people can put in emojis. This is really cool. All right. <laughs> just, just sorry, I forgot I was streaming and I'm texting people. <laughs> All right, how do you do it, Selma? Three hours, man. Man, people, people working hard. If they're streaming for three hours, my gosh. <laughs> and if your boss called, maybe mute. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. The truth is, I didn't know people were going to... All I was doing is, like, streaming just to see if I could stream and all that sort of stuff. It's like, not sure I knew how to make it work or something. It's like, I was just trying it out. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, my gosh. I got 106,000 subscribers. I didn't know that. Holy moly. So you could see this happy face in chat and then press it. Really? How do, how do we, how do we, let's see. Hi there. I don't know. Oh wait, I think I just did it. I did it. Look at that. I don't know why my, I, my little thingy thing had. Oh there, smiley face, there it is. You're on the iPad right now. Oh, nice. Wash hands. What does that mean? <laughs> Are you trying to hint? <laughs> Marianne, is there something going on that I should know? <laughs> Yay, you did it. Yeah. I know. I know. Uh, it's not much, but it's all I knew how to do. So, <laughs> Oh, this is cool. All right. So uh, this will be real quick. Uh, Travis, let's do it. What what mission six lesson three? Uh, what grade level is that? Sir, so you're gonna watch a stream for a while instead of studying. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, this is cool. This is really really cool. Fifth grade. Oh, fifth grade mission six. So that's probably graphing or something. Let me look. Let me look. So I'm going to, uh, oh, I, dude, you know what? Check this out. I know what we could do. Um, yeah, check this out. I'm going to go here. And uh, right there. Look at that. And I'm going to get this out of the way so that there. All right. Around this time. 
Man, you guys are crazy. So, uh, all right. Would you stream next Monday? I could do that around this time. I could give that a try. Heck yeah. Okay, so let's go to Zern. Zern.org, my good friends. Zern.org, fifth grade, module six, lesson three, or mission, because it's Zern, so they, you know, call them missions, whatever. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do it. Seven, shaking my head, it should be a thousand. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. Okay, uh, fifth grade. Uh, module mission six. And you said lesson three. Is that right, Travis? You still want lesson three? No idea where that came from. <laughs> Marianne's like, I don't know what happened. It just says wash hands. <laughs> in the power of tower i'm stuck in the final part okay so let's see tower of power mission three i think this is i think i'm where i'm supposed to be the more you use your brain the stronger it grows yes okay so i don't know if this is gonna make noise or or whatever so in fact let's i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna turn off my jazz music because I think the jazz is still playing I can turn that off turn that off turn this back on and uh, let's see okay so let's see if this works okay so Travis so here's what you're gonna do all right um, dang go away so here's what you're gonna do so the if you want to know where point R is right and uh, so all you have to do is the first number tells you how many how many spaces to move over and then the second number tells you how many spaces to go up all right but we would not say like st starting from here at the at the left column i don't know can i zoom in i don't know if that makes it better but anyway uh oh wait i know no dang it's not letting me oh yeah there there check that out look at that i did it i did it okay so check this out so you would start in the lower left-hand corner and you'd move over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you'd go up one, two, three, four. Now, seven, four is gonna be the wrong answer, okay? Uh, but because this one and this two is showing you that these three spaces equals one hole, and then another three spaces equals another hole, and then we go one more space so really, we went over two holes and one third. So that's, that's the first value. And then the second value is going up. And remember, notice, it's three spaces equals one hole. And then you have one extra space. So we're going to do one hole, because three spaces equals one hole, plus one extra little step is one third. And if I click Enter, Whoa, bam, I got it. So if we're gonna do it again, so Travis, you speak up if you get it, all right? All right, so then, so uh, now we wanna do E. Write the coordinate pair for point E. Hey. Write the coordinate pair for point E. That's cool, are you guys hearing that? Does, are you hearing her use speak the problem? Write the coordinate pair for point E. I don't know, I'm hearing it. I can't tell if you guys are hearing it, but that's cool. Okay, so if if we wanna know, um, oh, thank you, Mushroom. So yeah, if we wanna know where point E is, well, there's point E. So point E is three spaces, but that's equal, equal to one over. So it's equal to one over. And then how high is it? Well, it's three spaces equals one hole. And then we go two more spaces so that's one whole plus two thirds. And that's gonna be E. Check this out. What? Bam! I got it. So, Travis, did that help you? You getting it? Speak up or speak up later. All right. 
Let's see if that worked. Okay, guys, I got to go back to work. It's been 45 minutes. That's good enough for me. Um, if you like this, uh, but we could we could do a field trip. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, if you like this, let's do this again. This was kind of fun. I had a good I had a good time with this. Um, I don't know if this is I don't know useful, but let's let's do it again. So um, let's let's do it again. So uh, I don't know. Today's Wednesday. I don't know. Maybe Thursday, Friday, Monday. I don't know. We'll do it again. Um, maybe <laughs> Selma's like, yep, no, no, it's gonna be Monday. Selma's like, Selma's in charge. Everybody just listen to Selma. She's in charge. Selma's saying it's Monday. Then, all right, I'll put it in my calendar. Let's do it Monday. Please on Friday. <laughs> you guys are amazing. But we could field trip on Zoom. That's true. We could. And uh, Selma, I will do a video only on decimals. I'll do that. In fact, hang on, let me write a, a note. Selma, gee whiz, Selma, see, Selma's in charge, man. I love that, I like this. Selma wants decimals. Uh, dividing decimals, right? Selma, do you want dividing decimals? Or adding decimals, what do you want? <laughs> Not sorry, I'm loving it. See, look at this, I put it right here, Selma. And now I put dividing decimals. What do you want, Selma? Dividing decimals or adding decimals? What do you want? Hi, Chinmay. Kandaswami. Chin, Chinmay. Kandaswami. Cool name. That is really cool. So Selma. Oh, adding. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll cross off dividing. I'll put adding. Love it. Happy to make a video on that. There it is. Look at that. It's my Selma list of things to do. Totally wasn't climbing a tree during this. <laughs> that is so cool. All right. Ah, oh, Kaya Allen's just subscribed. Look at this. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, love seeing you guys. This is really fun. Uh, I'm going to make a video because Selma says so. And then, uh, let's see, BBC Dende says try and do it on Friday. I'll try. And then Selma says, but definitely do it on Monday. I'll try. I love this. This is great. I want to see you all guys later. Everybody, you guys have a great day. I'm going to somehow turn this off. I'm not entirely sure I know how to turn it off, um, but there you go. So I'll see you guys. See ya. Uh, how do I do this? See ya. Everybody log off. I'm so, 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 so sorry. I had to take my dog out. No worries, Travis. We're all good. We're all good. Oh, what do I use? Uh, I, I'm, I'm using YouTube. Well, I'm using Restream to do the chats, but I'm, I'm just using YouTube, streaming live on YouTube. All right, see you guys. Bye, Selma. Bye, Kaya. Bye, Travis. See you later, BBC Dende, Marianne, uh, with washing hands. <laughs> see you guys.